<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome, welcome. I'm cooking a late lunch because we actually had a late breakfast. We had breakfast? Oh yes, we I think so. We had some leftover from last night. I made salmon last night with um what is that? Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, salmon, broccoli, and I also couscous. made couscous. couscous. Let me know if you have ever tried couscous. Oh no, it's quinoa. It oh, yeah. was quinoa. Oh my bad, you're right. Yeah, it was quinoa, so it was so good. Um, I will start to use quinoa more in my diet because it tastes like rice. Uh, what is quinoa? I need to look that. I used substitute. to know. I used to know. Anyway, so guys, we're making some Mexican fajitas. I feel like to eat some Mexican fajitas. And with this dish, we're using meat. And you can use any protein you want, especially shrimp. And so normally, I will use a little bit of shrimp. Uh, but uh, right now, the first thing we had um, that John actually wanted was pork. So that's what we are having for our protein. And this is a quick, this is a really quick meal. I'll put the recipe up. Uh, so this is I have some seasoned pork here with some fajita seasoning, and uh, some regular garden seasoning, so, um, some paprika and some chili, and these are some other green seasoning that I'm using. Some green seasoning. We have some cilantro, uh, garlic, shallot or chives, and also some uh, onions. I have some tomatoes over here that I'll be using, and right now I'll be I'm using some jalapenos. Guacamole. For, and I'm also making some guacamole from my garden or our garden. Sorry, our garden. This is all part of you guys. All the energy you send here. So I'll be using the avocados in Guyana. We say pear. I'll be using these guys for some guacamole and uh, the last time I went home there in Jupiter we brought back some and then we went back so when we came back these guys are ripening and they're ready to be eaten so I'll be making some they're so heavy oh my gosh feel them feel them look they're like a pound each I should really weigh and see how much it weighs I sent some I sent a box for my sister with a few of them this year when I came back from Trinidad, actually all of them was gone from the hurricane and from the weather we had here. So I have only a few left. So excited that I'm back so that I can enjoy some of this delicious, delicious avocado. And you guys know how, the, how healthy this fruit is for you, for your hair, for your skin. And I use so much of it. I love, love avocados. I can't wait for this property to start to bear some. So today I'm using also some healthier, my oil is on there, today I'm using some healthier um, tortillas for your tacos or also for your fajitas. What I'm using here is some almond flour, right? It's almond flour tortilla. So for all the diabetics, all the people who cannot really have much flour or wheat, this is a perfect substitute, okay? And this is almond flour tortillas. And this one here is a light spinach and high protein tortillas, but it's a wheat, it's a wheat tortilla also. And I, 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 lo I love these substitutes, you know. Um, I, it makes me feel like, you know, I'm doing something for my body to live longer life and to stay away from diseases. So these are great substitutes if you're, if you're diabetic for all my friends who are suffering with that. So these are the tortillas that we'll be using. Uh, let me turn this on. Let's put some onions in here to saute. As you're getting on, thank you so much for being here. This is Sandy from Sandy's Backyard Food and Travel. Uh, thank you for following us and being part of us. Thank you for leaving a comment. And also thank you for shouting out where you're tuning in from. And also for being part of our YouTube channel. Check us out under Sandy's Backyard Food and Travel over there also. So let's put some onions in here. And you know, I love onions, a lot of onions in um, all my dishes. And I, I, I love sauteing them first also. It brings out a nice sweetness in them. It's not so sharp for all the people who have like indigestion. So I, lo I saute my onions first. Brings out a sweetness like caramelize it first, always. I think it's a lot of 
Swipe up. Change the wrong one. So let's cook. Uh, while this is sauteing up here, I'll let this cook up a little bit. Then I'll put in the garlic. Hey, bud. What's going on? You'd like to take a bite of my banana? Thank you. My chocolate banana Oreos. You went out to ice cream without us? Yeah, it's delicious. Oh, uh, you left me home. You're supposed to take me with you. Would you like some? Later. Don't Later, buddy. Up. You say everybody. You say hello to everyone. Hello. Wait, now you're showing everybody it's ice cream and you can't share with them? What's that all about? <laughs> so I'm just cutting up some fresh garden tomatoes into smaller pieces. Oh man, I'm growing some tomatoes um, in my garden right now and uh, start to give flowers and it also start to get a little bit, I have started to get a few little bit of tomatoes. So we'll put this in here too. Fry up. Since I'm making this recipe, I'm actually not I'm I'm not using any other I'm actually using um some jalapenos. I bought some jalapenos to roast. Uh but I haven't had a time to time to roast it, so I'm just gonna cut it up and put it in there. Jalapenos or jalapenos. It's uh, delicious, delicious. It's not very spicy. It has a, a lot of flavor. Let me know in the comments if you actually like jalapenos. I like to eat jalapenos raw, so I'll be cutting up some for um, our guacamole that we'll be making. And this is fajitas, we feel like Mexican today. I can't wait to go back to Mexico. I've been to Mexico many times, a few times in my life and I can't wait to take you guys like in, I can't wait to take you guys on my trip to Mexico one of these days soon. Ah, I love the food there. I've been to many places in Mexico with John's dad, so I have so many memories. I don't want to take John and Tommy there. Tommy, you've been a couple places in Mexico, yes, yes. but through like cruises and so, right? Not uh, personally. No, I went to Acapulco by plane. Oh yeah, I went to Acapulco by driving from Mexico City, and I love it. I love it. Let me know in the comments if you are a follower from Mexico. I know I have a few following from their followers. We'll make this up. I'll put some garlic in here now. Oh man, this is looking good. I'm putting in some Cuban or Spanish oregano. They also call Bradley thyme. The Bradley thyme is called Bradley thyme. It's called Cuban oregano here or the Spanish thyme. So I'm putting a few of those. I think in, in uh, Trinidad it's called Pudina, Pudina. Oh, I love that. I grew up using a lot of the Bradley time. I'll put in the meat now. And I chopped up this meat on small pieces. Um, actually, and... Uh, you can chop it up as skinny as you want. Sometimes I make the same type of food, especially when I used to work in a restaurant, okay, when I used to be in the restaurant, in the restaurant business, when I come home late at night, shrimp, chicken, whatever meat, fish, I always chop it up very finely and cook, you know, very fast. So this is a meal that you can actually finish in like 25 minutes. And you can make large quantity in such a quick time. Chop up the meat very small and with all these uh, seasoning and so on, it doesn't take long to cook that up and all that together, you know? So if you're in a hurry, 
if you're in a hurry and so on, it's a good thing to actually, these are quick meals. So shrimp is quicker, fish is quicker. So we'll stir this up. I have some music in the background. The thing is, we are, I'm very tired right now. We've been going on stop and we, I'm not complaining. But when I put on a little music and I leave the door open and I go walk around in the yard and I know I have so much dirt right now that I can work with. So I feel I wanna do so much more in the garden because I, I wanna go pick my stuff, anything that I want. I have some okra coming up. Um, and some other peppers coming up. I need to set some seeds now because I have this dirt. Hopefully this dirt will actually work out and uh, everything will become beautiful. And I love you guys. All of you send your amazing energy because that's what I'm doing to all of you. That's what, we, that's what our love is about and our kitchen is about. It's about sharing energy and love. And my garden in Jupiter and this garden here is all part of you. And I'm thankful for the for the blessings and for for the love you share with us. So I'm cooking up this baby here. And this is not gonna take very long guys. It's not gonna take a long time. That's why when you cut it off very small, okay? With anything lamb, anything that you use, even the harder type of uh, meat, you can cut off very small and it will cook in no time. So now I put some of the cilantro in here. So I'm putting in some cilantro and also some scallions. And let that cook up there. I'm cooking it on a medium high heat. I'm also going to put a little fresher onions up top there too. Let's go over here and we'll cut up some tomato very fast. Like little cubes, you know. There we go. We then I'll take some more and put it fresh on top here. All right. And I, I'll turn this heat up a little bit. Like cook it up. Okay, it's pretty much finished. So let's do some of this guacamole. And let's open this delicious, this delicious. Look how big this avocado is. Look. Many of you have met me in person, okay? Many of you have met me in person. And you know I have, you know, this nice round, you know, kind of face. So you know how big this is. I'm so proud of this avocado, you know. I grew it from, you know, a baby. So I, I'm proud of it. And this is the first year it gave so much of it. And I know it went through a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of struggle. But I'm so thankful that I was able to still have some. Let's open it. You ready? Ooh, here we go. Looks so good, right? It's so nice and yellow. This Great is shot. the Florida avocados, but it's a nice creamy and yellow. And this year, it is not as good as last year because because of um, the weather, the different weather we had. And guys, take some pictures, okay? When we opening that avocado on his face, okay? <laughs> and send it to me. <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, while that guy is cooking up there, let's make a little bit of guacamole. I'm gonna scoop that in there. I just gotta alert that my battery is low. Uh oh. Look how big, look, you can you this is like a like listen how that sound. 
That's how big this avocado is. You can actually eat in the in in um in this here. You can eat in it. It's like a bowl. Look at it. <laughs> I actually will make this avocado. Maybe and put it back in there. So we have some avocado here. Check it out. Let's just um mince it up a little bit. And this is just for our lunch. I'll be using some of this also and put some avocado oil and um, some turmeric and some coconut oil and I'll put it on my face for a mask. Now right now I have a few avocados so I'll be using, look how big this guy is and I use just half of it. So I have so much more to use and all I'll, I'll take a little bit for a little mask on my face and I also you can put it on your skin and also in your hair. But add a little bit of avocado oil to it because the Florida avocado is not very fatty like the California avocado or like the Haas avocado. So here I'll put a little bit of oil just to give it that good fat in there that's healthy for your body. Now I have some um, um, tomatoes, so just a little bit of tomatoes. Okay, see? Can you see some here? Mm -hmm. in the light? Uh, I actually like my the onions chopped up a little bit more when I'm cooking it with, um, when I'm making like uh, guacamole. So I'm gonna just chop this up a little bit more, like, uh, like into little squares, you know. And Tommy's not a big fan of raw onions. So I'm gonna put a little bit. Man, this is the quickest thing for avocado. The quickest thing. It's so simple, it's so simple. And this is guacamole. I'm also gonna put some of this. Uh, you can roast the pepper or you can roast the tomato. It will even make it even such a better flavor. A nice roast. I normally roast my stuff, but right now I'm not cooking on the fire side, so I'm gonna just do this. But next time when I turn on this, um, the wood or the coals, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roast a bunch of things and have it when I'm not cooking on the grill. So I'll put some pepper in there. Alright, let's turn this up. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Look how good this is looking already. This is pretty much, you know, so finished. So I'll just stir this up now. Oh man, look look how nice and caramelized that is, you see? I also put a little bit of sesame seeds in, I mean sesame seed oil in here. Uh, let me put a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt to taste. <laughs> <laughs> I love to play with food and make a mess. So look at this guys. You see I cut it up small. So uh, it doesn't take that long to cook. Uh, what else? Oh, I put some... This is some cilantro. I'll be putting in some cilantro in the guacamole. I love cilantro, okay? So I love I put extra. I know I have some limes. Now let's do this. Let's do this guys. Look how good this is looking. It's gonna be so delicious. I love guacamole. I love avocados. So whenever it's the season, I eat it in everything. I eat it with sandwich, on the rice. I eat it on pizza. I love pizza with avocado on top. Don't tell me, don't call me weird, but try it next time. You have like a pepperoni and sausage pizza, and you have some avocado home. Cut a couple of pieces and put it on top when you finish cooking. It's so good. It's like you, when you bite, especially the fatty avocados, it tastes even better. Try it next time. So let's put this in there. Um, 
Let's turn this and get more juice out of it. But well, look at all that lime juice. Ooh, man, oh man, it's gonna be delicious. Oops. And whenever you're making um, guacamole, you want to leave the seed, especially if you're cooking for company, you want to leave the seed inside of it because the seed help is, helps it, there's some chemical on it that helps the oxidation from not happening. So your guacamole would not actually get um, brown. So leave your seed inside. The only reason we're not leaving the seed inside because we're cooking enough to eat lunch right now. And I'm leaving the seed inside of this one so that it stays nice and fresh. So when you wrap it up and so on, stay nice and fresh. So that's a great hack, remember that. So let's stir this up guys. Oh wow, wow. So this is finished. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some finishing touches, some tomatoes. Some scallions. And also some fresh, some more fresh cilantro. So every bite you still get the freshness of everything. And a little bit of fresh onions. So it's finished there. And and that's how quick, and believe me, you you're in a hurry, you do it a lot faster, okay? Uh, right now I'm enjoying talking to you guys. Thank you all for being here. Um, watch us tonight. We'll be going live with an amazing surprise. We have a box uh, will be here, and a box opening that will be an amazing surprise for so many people here in the United States who can't really leave their homes, and it will be great for this Christmas, especially for this Christmas holiday. So this is finished, guys. Uh, we're going to turn it off. Well, let me show you here. And uh, this is also finished. I'll put a little bit of salt to taste. And this is a guacamole. And I love my guacamole chunky. Let me know in the comments if you like your guacamole chunky. Look at that. Look at that. Man, that looks delicious, right? And how simple this is! I will have the in, I will have all the recipe and ingredients um, up in the description as soon as I finish cooking and I eat something. I will put that on. Okay, very simple to make. And you can also use this with chips. If you have cassava chips, plantain chips, any sort of chips, tortilla chips, this is so simple. I like I said, I love it chunky because I like when I take a bite. I have a. I have a bite of every delicious ingredients. So if you I love this this way. Let me know in the comments also how you like to make your guacamole. This is finished like I said. And thank you all, thank you all. Oh, I needed um maybe something to pour this in and so glass, what I normally glass pour it there. Okay. What I will normally do is um I will warm up my tortillas, but it's up to you. You don't have to warm it up if you if you don't want to. But I know I will take this out now and put it in a dish and then I'll warm up a few tortilla in the same pan. So it has a nice flavor of everything on your tortillas. So thank you all, thank you all for being part of us and this is our meal here tonight today. Um so, so, uh, guacamole from the garden and this is all fresh seasoning and ingredients from the garden including the avocado and um, we having you can use any meat you desire but we're having some fajitas so we, we're having some Mexican today and I love like I said I love cilantro in my in Mexican in my Mexican dish and this is this is a pink Himalaya salt that I'm using I love to I, I love using sea salt or pink Himalaya salt
so food is finished. I know it, it's a great mess here now for us to clean up. Thank you all, okay. and I will see you at 7 30. They want to take a bite. Oh, one, take a bite. Let me take a bite. Hey, I, I, it's, and it's not so spicy. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Ooh. It's been so long since I had some of this, I feel. Right? When last you had avocado? Long time. I mean, we had avocado, avocado. but guacamole. Oh, it's so good. I can taste the tanginess from the lime. I can taste the onions. A couple chopped up onions. It's, it's crunchy and, it, and that juice it gives out are fresh onions. Oh, the tomato. And of course, I love cilantro. You put that in there together with a little bit of spice and a little bit of kick to it. You see how simple that is? Oh. <laughs> You see how simple that is? And, you, and, and like again, this can be a dip for your family, for your friends, for company this weekend, or uh, Christmas is coming up and all these things. These are great ideas for something very quickly, especially for my um, Florida friends here who are actually maybe having an avocado tree and having avocados. Simple, simple. Oh, I'm excited to go eat. Thank you again, everyone. I'm gonna let this meat sit for a little bit um while i clean up here uh, uh some i'm gonna let it sit because as it sit it's soaked in all that juice soaked in and more it's soaked in better it will taste look how look how good this is looking guys look and like i said you can use any protein you can use fish shrimp chicken pork beef you can use uh, your protein dishes. You can even use, for my vegetarians and vegans, you can use vegetables, especially eggplants. Cut up those eggplants, saute in the same way. It's so delicious. Or you know what is good with it too? Um, Brussels sprouts. You know, you cook that up in this, this way. It's so good for all my vegetarian friends. So thank you all. Thank you all for watching and being part of us. Stay amazing. Thank you for uh, leaving a comment. And also thank you for sharing our page and um, and for being part of Sandy's Backyard Food and Travel and our part of our YouTube channel. See you next week. I mean, see you tonight, everyone, about 7.30. Maybe yeah. about 7.30 or so. Love you guys.